Hello YouTube, this is Chardar Yu-Gi-Oh! and I was going through my commons box earlier today and I saw a card that really, really intrigued me and I thought, you know, this could actually turn my opponent's tour guide's plays or Venus plays into advantage for me. Now that card is Weed Out. It's a common from Elemental Energy and the effect is pay 500 life points, destroy all level 3 monsters in face-up attack position on the field. So it is chainable. Now, what I was thinking with this card was your opponent plays tour guide, summons another tour guide. Now before they Ixies, flip that up, pay your 500 life points. I mean, 500 life points is nothing. It's basically costless. Destroy both tour guides. That leaves your opponent with five cards. And two, two darks in the grave, but still, they wasted a tour guide. Now, yeah, that's good if they summon Sangan in defense, which that is becoming a more common play. You'll just take out the tour guide, and that's not as good, but it's still something. It stops them from Ixies and with wind-up Zen Mines, I think. And the other new level 3s, that could be pretty helpful, too. So, but if their intention is to Ixies summon, a more common play would be to play tour guide, tour guide. And that's where this card now. Another and good meta play that I think this thing could stop is against agents. They summon Venus. Now, blow up the Venus for one for one, or let them activate Venus's effect. Then they bounce a Shine Ball to summon Birdman. After they summon the Birdman, flip it up, destroy the Venus and the Birdman. Birdman's banished, they can't synchro with it. Venus is in the grave, so yeah, either way they're going to end up with an agent in the grave, but they would do that if they synced with it anyway, plus they get a synchro out of it. And also, this leaves them with a dead shine ball in their hand, which, that's not, I play agents, I've played agents a lot, I consider myself a very good agent player, you never want a shine ball in your hand, so that's good there. Depending on how many they summon, they might be able to go into Gachi, or they might end up with another dead Shine Ball on the field. And some other less commons against X Sabers. This could take out Full Helm Knight. And there's a lot of level 3s in the meta right now, so. I don't know if I'm actually going to use this card, but I just thought it was pretty interesting. So if you guys want to comment on that, or maybe try it out, maybe cite it, try one out at your locals for or a fun match or whatever. I don't know, I thought it was pretty interesting. So, just post your thoughts on that down below, and peace out, YouTube.